want the best for your family, but unable to find a good job in your community? Migrating to another country for work may be a good option for you. This is a big step to take, so you need to make sure you get the right information before you go. Consider two possibilities. Upon hearing the story of their neighbour's success from working abroad, Dara and Aram decide to follow in his footsteps and migrate to support their families. Both have high hopes and dreams for the future. Before Dara makes this big step, she has made up her mind not to risk her or her family's safety. After collecting as much information as possible from friends, labour officials and other sources, she selects a licensed recruitment agency. She asks the licensed recruitment agency to help her find a job abroad. Though it may take longer, Dara knows that the job will be a legal one with a contract that stipulates her pay and benefits because she's going through a recruitment agency that is licensed by the government. She is also provided with pre-departure training so that she has the skills she needs for her new job and some knowledge about the destination country. With a passport, visa and work permit, Dara travels without worry because she has the right documents and will have no problem entering the country she's going to work in. But what of Iran? He sees an advertisement posted on the internet and contacts the unlicensed recruitment agent. He was then approached by a broker who promised a job abroad. Aran was asked to pay large fees in advance to secure the job and was promised travel documents through a shortcut that may also involve bribery. He was then smuggled across the border without proper documentation, putting him at risk of being arrested and sent back home. When he arrives, things get worse. Despite the large fee paid to the recruiter, he does not know where he is and is trapped in a job he does not want. He does not receive the salary he was promised. He works long hours and has to deal with poor living and working conditions. His health gets worse as a result. Finally, Aran realises it is better for him and his family if he contacts the authorities. He also contacts the consulate of his country to seek assistance. Unwittingly, he has become a victim of a people smuggling syndicate and may have been trafficked. Dara is less likely to experience these problems. Having proper documentation and legal status gives Dara more protection from abuse and exploitation. She is more likely to be satisfied with her job and is more willing to seek help when encountering problems at work. She regularly receives her salary and sends money to her family through bank transfer and reputable international money transfer agencies. If she is sick, she has better access to healthcare. She is free to move around and is able to occasionally return home to visit her family for important celebrations. After a few years of working abroad, Dara can return home to accomplish her dreams. Aran is less likely to realise his. He returns to his family with less wealth and in worse health. Ultimately, he becomes a burden on his family. It may seem easier to go quickly with an unlicensed recruiter, but you risk putting yourself in dangerous situations that could impact your earnings, your health and your family's future. Educating yourself about safe migration and taking the time to get documents such as a passport, visa and work permit require time and money, but they are an investment in success. Be smart about how you go. Choose to migrate safely. Start smart, end with success. <laughs>